the main important thing that I would like you guys to do is, you know, the exact same thing. We don't have to go through this, um, but I think it's always helpful. Again, label instead of A, B, A, B, and C, let's label A, let's say label H, and let's label K. This will be very helpful. A in this case is 1. H in this case is negative 3. Remember, it's the opposite. And K in this case is going to be 6. So why would this be helpful? Well, because remember, first of all, the vertex is negative 3, negative 6. So that's where my new vertex is at. So if I'm going to graph this, remember I showed you the parent graph. y equals x squared. You don't have to show the parent graph, but y equals x squared, that's why I was mad I erased it, is right here. Remember I said it's the opposite. Remember it's x minus negative 3, right? That's what I showed right here. K is not the opposite. K is going to be exactly as it is. It's just the H is going to be the opposite value. I don't know. So does everybody at least see when the vertex? I, remember, I told you, I mean, I explained it, but I know the easiest way to think about this is H is always going to be your opposite, opposite value. Um, so, so we talked about here the parent graph. Here's what the parent graph looks like. Um, now the vertex, here the parent graph is at vertex at 0, 0. Now the vertex is at negative 3, 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and then go up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So do you guys see what I've done? I've taken this graph, I've shifted it three units to the left, and shifted it six units up. Three units to the left, six units up. That's why H and K are so important. Yes? You can do the table. But what's nice about this is when A is equal to 1, we don't have to do a table. Because remember, when A is equal to 1, did the shape or size of the graph change at all? No, it was not compressed, it's not stretched, and it's not flipped, right? So we don't need to change the shape of the graph. The only thing that changed is the orientation of the graph is now shifted left and shifted up. So all I need to do is redraw what this graph looks like. That's why understanding the parent graph is so helpful because if I know the vertex, to find the next two points is to go over one, up one, over one, up one. So from here, I go over one, up one, over one, up one. Then you go over two, up four. Over two, up four. So I go over two, up four. One, two, three, four. Over two, up four. So what's nice about vertex form, which I'm trying to explain to you, to you guys to really understand, standard form, we always did a table. We always had to do a table, right? But for vertex form, if a is equal to one, all we got to do is find the new vertex and then just slide the new graph over there. So it's very important to know what the parent graph is. Because once you know the parent graph, as long as a is equal 1, it's the same graph. You just move it to its new position due to its transformation. You do not have to draw both. I'm just doing it as an instructional tool.